Every year, millions of perfectly good, integrated circuits end up as e-waste in the landfill. The problem isn't whether they can be reused, it's how they can be recovered. Traditional methods risk damage from heat, ESD and handling. At Retronix, our technology safely recovers ICs so that they keep their full quality. The result, a strong return on investment, protection of intellectual property and a huge reduction in e-waste. We're giving components a second life, which is good for business and good for the planet. Let me show you how it works. Let's take data centres, for example. Large companies are replacing their servers faster than ever due to rapid advances in technology, particularly AI. Most of these companies design their own servers, so they can't simply sell them whole into the market. The intellectual property is just too valuable. So instead, the servers must be reused. When large companies disassemble or recycle a server, much of the hardware can still be reused. Rack itself can often be repurposed if the PCB size is the same. The blades, cables and even the power supplies can all be recycled. The one part of the server that can't be reused is the motherboard. That's where the new AI technology sits and it always has to be replaced. So the real question becomes, how do you dispose of the motherboard in the most efficient way? At Retronix, we start by carefully heating the board from underneath so the solder spheres reflow without stressing the components. At the exact moment of reflow, which is when the solder becomes liquidous, we use a vacuum tool to lift only the parts we want, whether that's for reuse, savings or resale. The sensitive IP chips, they stay in place. After removal, the board can be swiped clean, leaving just fiberglass and copper, both of which have value, especially with forecast shortages. Once a component is removed, the existing solder at the substrate level needs to be cleaned. At Retronix, we use various methods, depending on customer requirements, all to industry standards. The method on screen shows desolder by a controlled dynamic wave. This gentle, non-abrasive process removes the excess solder while leaving an even coating of no solder on each pad. The next stage is reballing the BGA. We use a laser process that doesn't require a reflow oven. Each solder sphere is individually placed on the pad and adheres to the pad using a laser pulse. This generates zero heat in the component and completely avoids a reflow cycle. This process allows the component to comply with the manufacturing guidelines and the life cycle of the component. After reballing, all devices go through an automated wash system. This ensures consistent cleanliness across every component. The system recycles its own wash liquid and signals when it's ready to be discarded, making it both highly effective and environmentally friendly. All wash components then pass ionic contamination testing to the most stringent control level. All devices are then tested. First, a mechanical check is carried out on every device. Devices are tested in accordance with their data sheet. So for BGAs, we check coplanarity, missing or misshaped spheres or alignment issues. For leaded devices, we inspect foot angle, coplanarity, pitch and lead deviation. This ensures every component meets specifications and also helps identify issues like delamination and warpage if a device has been damaged. After the mechanical check, we perform an electrical test on each component. Using a curve trace test, the system carries out a pin-to-pin -pin comparison in accordance with the data sheet or compared to a golden sample. When a component is tested, it's compared to the original curve trace test to detect any differences or fails. If you'd like to explore how any of these solutions would work for your organisation, please feel free to contact us and we'd be happy to discuss it further.